Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the, the earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful, to live together in unity. Love and faith come together, justice, justice and, and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and, and our, our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Let the giving of thanks be our sacrifice to God. Let the giving of thanks be our sacrifice to God. God the Lord has spoken. God has summoned all the earth. From the sun at rising to its setting in the west. Let the giving of thanks be our sacrifice to God. Let the giving of thanks be our sacrifice to God. Fire consumes before him, and a storm is raging all around. Heaven and earth he summons to the judging of his people. Let the giving of thanks be our sacrifice to God. Let the giving of thanks be our sacrifice to God. Give us life. Let, Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness. Let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God 
in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The response of faith. With the whole church, we, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 27 God is my light, God my salvation, of whom should I be afraid? God is the stronghold of my life. Why should I live in fear? Should enemies try to take my life, they shall stumble and fall. Should armies stand against me, still I will keep my confidence. One thing I desire, this I ask of God, that I may live forever in God's house. There I would seek my Maker and contemplate God's beauty. Reveal to me your ways, my God, and keep me on a level path. Thus I will see your goodness at work in the land of the living. Listen now in the reading of scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Revelation chapter 14 verses 12 to 20. Here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and hold fast to the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Blessed are the dead for who from now on die in the Lord. Yes, is the Spirit, they will rest from their labours, for their deeds follow them. Then I looked, and there was a white cloud, and seated on the cloud was one like the Son of Man, with a golden crown on his head, and a sharp sickle in his hand. Another angel came out of the temple, calling with a loud voice to the one who sat on the cloud, Use your sickle and reap, for the hour to reap has come, because the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. So the one who sat on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was reaped. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle. Then another angel came out from the altar, the angel who has authority over fire. And he called with a loud voice to him who had the sharp sickle. Use your sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle over the earth and gathered the vintage of the earth 
and he and he threw it into the great wine wine great wine press at the wrath of God. And the wine press was trodden outside the city, and blood flowed from the wine press as high as a horse's bridle, for a distance of about two hundred miles. the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Jesus Christ, brother of all, we thank you for showing us that we are all worthy of God's love. You told stories about the poor, the outcast and the homeless being invited to your wedding feast. You touched those deemed untouchable. You spoke to those no one spoke to. You shared food with those excluded from the society and you asked people what they wanted. Holy Spirit, we thank you for all the times you have moved our hearts to reach out, to listen, to see, to walk beside people. We thank you for all the people, organizations and movements that work on bringing lasting change to our societies. Loving God, we thank you for the privilege and joy of being part of your intention and your work in this world. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On the 24th day, we pray 
for family groups, the far-flung members network, former members and associate members, the Iona community regions, the Indian Ocean Islands, Maldives, Seychelles, Diego Garcia, Mauritius, Comoros, Madagascar. And we pray for members belonging to the family group of London, Alex Claire Young and Joe Claire Young, Andrew Dart and Barbara with Karen Murray, Chris Gidden, Case Grant, Jane Hodges and Bob Gilbert with Matthew and Thomas, Pat Livingston, Tom Osborne and Lorna, Kaz Reeves, Chloe Turner, Ricky Turner with Jacob, Meg Rowe and Martin. And we pray for associate members in England, Northwest. Walk with them today, O oh God. And keep us on your way. God, in whose heart is love and justice, show us this day whom we must love and what we should challenge or change in order that your will for the earth might be done. Increase, Increase our, our hope, dispel our, our apathy, inspire our imagination, and, and deepen our commitment until we become the signs of your kingdom for which we and others pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace and, and pursue, pursue it in the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in community, community, holy and one. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love, Alleluia forevermore. He came down that we may have love, He came down that we may have love, He came down that we may have love, Alleluia forevermore. He came down that we may have peace, He came down that we may have peace. He came down that we may have peace, Alleluia forevermore. He came down that we may have peace, He came down that we may have peace, He came down that we may have peace, Alleluia forevermore. He came down that we may have joy, he came down that we may have joy. He came down that we may have joy. 